Today I will be taking a look at this ISDT D2 Smart Charger. Um, I've seen several people review this online so and I needed a charger so I decided to go ahead and give this one a try. Um, as you can see here it's a dual charger, 200 watts, 10 amps, up to 6S. Uh, so really, really beefy charger. Um, not much on the outside, just some information there. And yeah, pretty, pretty clean box. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Got some foam padding up in the top there. That's a nice little touch. Not that stuff that just kind of flops around when you open it up. Stickers. Guess that's cool. Um, a little bit of a, like a start guide or something there. Uh, looks like a uh, cover for the screen and stuff. If we take a look in this box here, I believe this should be our power cable. Now, the one thing I did notice with this is it only came with a, um, is this an EU plug? I don't know. All I know is it's not American. So, um, Banggood did send an adapter along with it, but I trust that thing as far as I can throw it. And, um... So now we get to the actual charger, wrapped up in a nice piece of plastic there with a little piece of tape in the back. Go ahead and open this up and we will take a closer look at it. Oh, the tape caught. Uh, why has everything got to fight with you some days? There we go. Alrighty. So, turn this around here. We take a nice look at the front here. Already got smudges over it, but... Looks like we have two buttons here, a little rolling uh, thing here, and yeah, not too much on the front there. Here we have our, I believe those are XT60 connectors there, with our six cell balance lead um, connectors. On the sides, don't have much there. On this side here, we do have a USB charging port. It's a nice touch. Um, on the back here, we have slots for two fans there where air flow can go through and where we put the power connector in. On the bottom here we see some specifications. Um, AC input is 100 to 240 volts, 200 watts. And we have the vent here for the air flow to go through. So probably do not want to be using this on carpet or anywhere where it can't get good air flow. All right. And this little, I did uh, look in the manual here, and this little port here is apparently an update port, which apparently you have to get in the cable for, and then you can um, install new updates and firmware for it. So, might be something to look into in the future. But we'll take a quick look here at the little start guide here. Um, this is just a quick reference guide. I'm assuming if you go to these little you know QR code or the website they will give you a more detailed instruction um, so this side here is in English and this side here is in probably Chinese I don't know I can't read it and just some warning down here yeah very important guys don't charge batteries inside don't charge them unattended they will burn your house down personal experience so I am getting a replacement cable for this with the US plug because I do not trust the adapters. Just you know, I will use the adapter here for a couple days until I get it, but I charge my batteries outside inside of a metal um, container that you know contains anything if anything goes wrong. So uh, I'm not too worried about it out there, but yes, I would not trust the little adapter that they send with it. And uh, let me let me grab that here quick so I can show you. All right, so here is the little adapter. As you can see, I mean, adapters are adapters. There's nothing fancy to them, but it's just it's so light. There's nothing to it. You know, this little sticker here just ugh, I don't know. It's just I don't like them. But overall, I think it looks good for, you know, what it is. This is not a cheap charger, 
by any means. Um, I think it's over $120 is when I bought it. Um, that price may have changed. So, um, I mean, yeah. I'm going to be doing some testing with it here over the next couple weeks. And just, you know, I'll probably do an update video after I use it for a while. Get used to it. Go through the menus. Um, just test some different things out before I give a final opinion on it. But I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing here and show you guys what was in the box and what you're getting. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to uh, see some more videos that I'm going to be doing soon. Uh, I have several coming up. Got an airplane on its way. Got a quadcopter that I'm going to fly. And, uh, yeah, hopefully do a bunch of other projects here soon. Got some 3D printing stuff also on the way. Just need some time to work on them. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.